Tatuwa kana kia kulanda. <laughs> kana ilo tuwa kwela. Amishuwa na imuwe wa tukana. Eh, tampe ni kuipeka ni amitampe wa kutukana. But this is our country. Eh, we will not shy away from uh, talking about issues affecting our country. And I know those... Uh, today I was even told they are called the uh, uh, social media... What? Uh, what dogs? What mm. Social media? Something they call them warriors. The UPND have created a, a group called the Social Media Warriors. Their job is to insult and discredit uh, whatever we are saying on social media. Like I said yesterday, if we after what to but what is important ultimately is that we are raising issues of national concern and issues that we feel should be addressed by the current government. We are opposition. Our job is to offer checks and balances. So for those who want to insult, ridicule us, please join us. It's part of the game and we welcome you. But you, you must know that uh, we will not stop talking about these issues. You are wasting your bundles, you waste your time to insult. Uh, in any case, uh, those who insult others must know that there is a judgment in heaven. You know, and you are insulting. But now you know that you are going to go to a Because now you are going to go to a It doesn't make sense. Why should you have bundles? So we have an issue that we need to well, that I felt that should be uh, uh, dealt with expeditiously uh, so that we avoid uh, this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, upper hazard way of doing things or running the country. So we are good to go. Good afternoon, uh, countrymen and women. And uh, of course, uh, those who are watching us from outside uh, the parameters of the borders of Zambia. Uh, it is said that uh, wonders will never cease and that lies will never stop as long as the UPND remains in government with their leaders. I will repeat that. It is said that wonders will never cease and lies will never stop as long as the UPND remains in government with their leaders. Like I've said, when you tell a lie, <laughs> you need another lie to sustain the first lie. And this is exactly what we are being treated as a, to our Zambians. Yesterday in Arilanda, and I want to repeat, we shall have been in Belenembo, shall we feel and want to be cool? She so more, but we so more now, which is a very poor feel now we deliberate. This morning, I woke up to a road shop. Somebody from the Ministry of Agriculture sent me a copy of the letter written by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture, a Mr. Mbozi, Green Mbozi, and it reads, for avoidance of doubt, it says you may be aware that currently small scale farmers produce about 95% of the maize in the country. You may also be aware that due to a number of factors such as drought, crop, disease, global commodity price fluctuation, and the increase by FRA by uh, and the increase of FRA maize buying price from 180 kwacha per 50 kg bag 
to 280 quad share during the 2023 marketing season, the country has experienced rising minimum prices. I will repeat that. That due to the factors that have stated above, that the country has experienced rise in minimum prices. Underline that. In order to mitigate against the rise in minimum prices, government has government has been in discussion with the Zambia National Farmers Union with a view to engage farmers who could be contracted to grow any maize starting from 2023-2024 farming season. The purpose of this memo is to request respective provinces and districts to assist identifying to assist identifying these farmers who have the capacity and fa facilities to grow any maize. The information should include districts, location, areas under irrigation, and areas to be cultivated with maize during the 2023 season. Please treat this assignment as top priority in your schedules. Green Mbozi, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture. Countrymen and women, this government, like my preamble stated, is full of nothing but lies. When this government came into office, they found a lot of maize in, in stock by the FRI. And when they came into office, they found that there was a maize ban for export. That there was an existing ban for export of maize. And the reason was very simple. So that we could keep household food security and indeed national food security. What did this government do? They opened up exports, exported our maize to Kenya, exported our maize to, to uh, Tanzania, and exported the maize throughout the region. We cautioned them that this export that you have opened up, particularly maize that was held by the FRA, will lead into food insecurity in the near future. We told them that, look, it was deliberate that previous governments, the MLD, the PF, made sure that we had enough stock of maize in the FRA sheds and the silos for the purpose of making sure that the price of maize and also the country is assured of uh, food security in as far as the stable, stable food, which is in Shima, is concerned, and also for production of uh, food stock, I mean uh, uh, feed stock for the animals and, and uh, the, the birds. That, that is the agriculture sector. When we advised them, they were very arrogant. They exported the maize. Today we don't even know how much maize we have in stock. But we are reliably informed that we are under a threat of having no maize five months before going into the next uh, harvest. And instead of them coming to tell the people of Zambia that we don't have enough maize stock. As a result, we want some people that can grow uh, early maize. They want to lie to the people of Zambia that they want to grow early maize which 
should be irrigated for the purpose of reducing the price of millennium. What is the correlation? If you may ask. Where is the correlation between producing early maize, which is going to be uh, 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 produced through uh, uh, irrigation, and the price of maize? Because even a grade 7 child will know that maize that is grown through irrigation is much expensive than the maize that is rain fed. Mark that. Maize that is produced using irrigation is much expensive, more expensive than the maize which is produced using rain fed. This issue of winter maize has been tried in the past. It has not succeeded because the price at which you produce that maize is exorbitant. At the current moment, the price of diesel is very expensive. Some people use diesel for irrigation, and most of them use electricity for irrigation. The cost of electricity has gone up threefold since the UPND came into government. Now when you ask, how are they going to reduce the price of maize using uh, agriculture, I mean irrigation, irrigation produced maize, the so-called uh, early maize? Why can't you for once tell the truth? Just come and tell the people of Zambia, we are sorry. We exported the maize. We don't have enough maize. As a result, we are encouraging farmers to grow early uh, uh, irrigated uh, maize. And as a consequence, the price of millennium will go up more than it is today. Because that is the reality. That is the reality. If you are going to use irrigated maize, just know that the cost of millennium will go up to fold. But somebody, a permanent secretary, well educated, who understands the agricultural economics, can come and tell the nation on behalf of this government that we want to contract some farmers who have got irrigation facilities to produce any maize to reduce the price of minimum. Uh -uh. Are we back? Sorry for that uh, breaking transmission. The network is playing up. But we know that there are some people from Zikta who always disturb you my broadcasts. What I was trying to say is that we share those in government, how do you look at the people of Zambia? The people that you lead? Do you think people don't think? People can't uh, analyze? People can't uh, 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 see your lies? Bamboos. 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 How many times have I called you? Are you sure Bambozi, by growing any maize, which is going to be produced by irrigation, you are going to reduce the price of millennium? The truth of the matter here is that the focus, or the, the crop focus, focus, has shown you that we don't have enough amazing stock and i want to challenge you one tell the nation how much maize we have in stock how much do we need to survive from now up to the next season because as far as i'm concerned we are under a very big risk of not having maize in the last five months before 
the new harvest. And instead of telling the people the truth, you want to use the narrative that you want to contract. And why I'm worried is when you say contract, it simply means you want to use government resources to give some farmers to produce any maize. That's where the catch is. The corruption. You want to support some farmers and particularly commercial farmers where you have interest so that they grow elements using government money. And yet, in your minute, in your letter, you said the maize that we use, 95% of the maize that we use is produced by small-scale farmers. How many of the small-scale farmers have irrigation facilities? So this whole thing is to support farmers so that you can benefit from that uh, a program where you are going to use the government resources. Allah, who will feel, like I said, who will feel, lives are very little, few, uh, uh, you know, legs to stand on. But it appears Ugu Finom has become a norm. We need a proper explanation why government wants to use government money to give commercial farmers. Because as far as I'm concerned, people who use irrigation are only commercial farmers. Are only commercial farmers. So you want to use government money to support your friends who are commercial farmers to produce expensive maize. When you produce this expensive maize, it means the price of minimum will go up to fold. But you write in your letter that this is intended to reduce the price of minimum. When boza, tama, kesha yuka. What kind of a country are we? What kind of people are you in government that every time we found out in lies in the morning, lies at lunch, lies in the evening? This is what we are being treated to. That's why I said in my preamble that wonders will never cease and lies will never stop until as long as UPND remains in government. The Zambian people who deal with the liars in the ballot box. You want to remove FISIP, which is fertilizer to use to uh, help the poor people. Viable but vulnerable farmers. You are going to remove FISIP. You've already announced. But you want to bring a scheme to support commercial farmers who are already rich, who are already able to sustain themselves. You want to give them government money to produce expensive maize. And in your own economics, you say that it's going to reduce the price of maize. Allah, they to move to all the time. It is either you want to benefit from that fund, that program, or we don't have enough maize in stock. So you are scared that should we go to that uh, period, the price of millennium will be skyrocketing more than it is today. Shortage of, of, of millennium, shortage of a feed stock. That's what you are scared. Because you see, Ukuba wush chumumun shorolwa. Te usuma. When people advise you, please don't export the maize. 
No, we are exporting the mess. That's the way we open up the, the economy. You can't export if you don't have enough. Yes, exports are allowed in order for us to, to get uh, foreign exchange. But you can do it at the expense of uh, your own people. Now your lives are catching up with you. But in order to sustain those lives, you have to tell more lies. However, let to anakani. To anakani. Fionse wufi. So I'm challenging you. Tell us how much maize we have in stock. Tell us at what cost this maize is going to be produced. The early maize. Eh? Huh? Irrigated maize. Tell us how much it is going to cost. At what cost is going to be produced and what will be the selling price of this maize. We'll see whether indeed you are going to reduce the price of minimum. Every time you want to use the, the, the poor people in your narrative, you know at Imre Pangali deal, but in order to reduce the price of minimum, so that the people can say yes, they want to reduce the price of minimum. Irrigated maize is more expensive than Renfield uh, 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 maize, and therefore it can never bring the price of millimil down. We are dealing with crooks. What is happening under this government is advanced white collar corporate corruption. Using the systems, and if you are not careful, you will not pick this. But some of us are above that kind of rhetoric, and we are able to read in between the lines. Oh, much that export and whatever yours, Malabi Pabat. Alabane will not have a step of food. It's when but still at a bomb back Kamunda, in sala kapondo, in sala kapondo. Alamuke ukisha, but by the time you realize, it's not lipa. Oa kwele mfwa ya kwa noko, mutachi. Kaini chwe bachitila kakunye lele, takalabu wa. Akakunye lele, takalabu. Mumembe we kene, mumembe we minine, ale tele la neshi kene. Mumembe we minine, asongesha neshi kene. Nangu ale tele la neshi kene. Bambozi, na ba minister wenu wa ba agriculture wa mtololungu, le kenyu kubepa wa ntu ufi. Just tell us the truth. Takuli ya matawa muli chinochalo. Mulefu wa nombo kupele mpia. Awa nenu. Vashite produce mezi. Munga kwa temu na touch. Na mulefu wa matawa kufula. Lundeni awa pina. Awa kukoka fisp. Already fisp kwa bantu wale itishani. The meetings that have been called. Bale lewa mkwa pareti mkwa mamamo semente. Bala paka wapela limbi. Fifteen packs. Now, 70 people, 15 packs, Bakaka and Shan, Mame Dana, come The production will again go down. And I'm going to go to the next one. To advise. To advise, we are experienced. But this is parliament to our president. There are a few things that I picked. Na fofi ne bi onse ushe aba le mama ama ama speech ya president. Why do you want the president to appear awkward and not knowing what he's doing? Na mo ne ba president ushe mo la bi nga mama speech to counter check where the film alala and the parliament ne fi background fi mo fi because this thing of lies lies all the time is now becoming getting out of hand. You have been singing about CDF. CDF is 28 million per annum. 
Today, we have three months to go before the end of the year. Three months to go, you have only released six million to each constituents. <laughs> and yet you are saying CDF is a is a game changer. Allah, experience is the best teacher. Oh, but if you have 1.6 billion, if you have 1.8 billion, tell me whether in the last three months, Mualak started this 22, 22 million to each constituency. The truth of the matter is that this CDF is just on paper and the talk show because some people are very good at talking. They are only fit to be uh, 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 motivation speakers. We have increased CDF to 28 billion. This is September, October, November, December. Three months before the end of the year, you have released 6 billion to each constituent. When will you ever release the remaining 22 billion? Another line. Employment of teachers. Three months before the end of the year, something that was budgeted for, for this year, last year, from the presidential spe speech of last year, September last year, the president said we are going to employ 4,000 more teachers. <laughs> when he was opening par parliament again, he forgets that it's coming to the end of the year. At this year, we are going to employ 4,000 teachers. When? How long does it take to employ teachers? Are you sure in the last three months you are going to employ teachers? Hello. <laughs> I have said before and I want to say it again that it's going much still it's a nini ke it's a kuponia imola yupie it's a nini ke wufi no kuponia it's a kuponia wufi so we are waiting for this employment of 4,000 teachers we are waiting the president says we have stabilized the exchange rate. On the day President Ed, President Againde Ichilema took over government, the rate of the quarter to the dollar was one one dollar to fifteen quarter. It had dropped one dollar to fifteen quarter. Today is one dollar to twenty one. Watch. A few days ago, it was 17, it was 18, it went to 19, it dropped to 17, it went to 19, it's now 21. Where is the stability? Maybe there is another meaning for the word stability. But I think my English teacher, Mr. Lyons, who are referring to Tulum Sumu, Mr. Lyons, those who went to Patamata Secondary School, or those who lived taught me the meaning of stability and fluctuation in the exchange rate will never mean stability of the exchange rate. In any case, we were promised we are going to reduce the exchange rate I am sorry in at 10 o'clock, 14 hours, the kwacha will appreciate. Mwepuchika, mwepuchika. It's two years on the line. <laughs> the kwacha is now $21 to one kwacha. Mwepuchika, kapiti. Mwepuchika, mwepuchika. Wenye, uwe la watama, kesha la kapiti. Ufi. How can you go and address Parliament 
and tell the people of Zambia that we have stabilized the exchange rate. When the exchange rate has been fluctuating and the, the rate of the quarter to the dollar is just going up. These things we are talking about is to help you have a better life. Those people have got better lives. They drive free cars, free fuel, free electricity, a lot of allowances. They don't suffer. Now, President Vena, she also has a stiff. That was one of the things we had to make it. That was one of the things we had to make it. But we had to say, "Can we say, 'We want to get a certain amount of money for it.' Now, you were, we were full of feeding our mano. We wish to go and get it. No, we are not going to do it. To the land of the people, we are not going to do it. GDP growth. We inherited a broken economy and we have started growing the economy to 4% per annum from negative. People of Zambia, let me tell you, because of the COVID pandemic, all the countries in the world except two it was China and Ethiopia who were recording plus one percent growth. All the countries in the world recorded negative growth. And as I speak to you now, all the countries in the world are recording GDP growth between 2.8 to 4 percent. Some men you are present but the president was a guy in the president Mufiaro. But the president in Chile, but the president was Zambia. If you say Fiaro, Fia picking to record almost the same growth. The economy went in the negative because of the effects of COVID and also the drought that we had. And then you assume in a moon karata and a moon karata and belengel. Nabala ndabeni. Elo, tabai checking anga balewe kogufi. Abati, you may also be aware that due to a number of factors such as drought, drought was one of the things that made the economy of Zambia and other economies go in the negative. Today, some of these issues have been resolved by nature and all countries are now reporting or uh, posting a positive growth and in the same range between 2.8 to 4 percent number of president because it's because of his ingeniousness Nachachi needs good leadership why is the exchange rate skyrocketing why? We were at par with South Africa. Today, the land is stronger than the Kwachi. Umu Ababa are ingenious. We are good leader. Let's say, now we are not going to be able to do it. too much exchange rate. Because the property, when there was that fluctuation, it is not because of anything. They were taking money from the reserves to throw on the foreign exchange market in order to stabilize or drop the, the exchange rate. Today they don't have enough dollars in reserve. That is why they cannot interfere with the exchange rate. And it has gone to the real uh, uh, levels. And there is nothing that they can do. But the real exchange rate is what you are seeing now. That's what I'm saying. Ubu fi, ufai kubu fi na bumbi to sustain ubu fi wafest. So there's no stability in the exchange rate. So the place, the president lied to Parliament, and telling lies in Parliament is actually an offence. 
under cap 12 of parliamentary uh, uh, privileges. The UPND has been condemning the PF that they closed the post newspaper using ZRA. When this happened, UPND condemned. But I want to say this. What was wrong in PF cannot be right in UPND. What was wrong in PF cannot be right in UPND. If there was tribalism in PF and there is tribalism in UPND, both must be condemned. Because what is, was wrong in PF should also be wrong in UPND. By UPND, you want to close the Daily Nation newspaper. Mwadiba Tuminaga ZRA. And they are telling them, if you don't pay, we are going to close you down. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's say, let's wear white caramel. You don't say that to paper. Let's say, Allah, we can go for now. Go halfway, we can go for halfway. Muno Zambia, we can say that we are going to go to the Pamitima. But we share more of it. But we share more. We all appreciate and we all be happy. We don't want them to fail. We want them to succeed. But in their quest to succeed, let's always Please leave the dead nation alone. Please, how they are going to pay so that they can survive. But you are not going to go to a company, pay 4 million uh, Now, if you don't pay, we are going to close you down. Something that you condemned. That's why, you will not be able to condemn it, you will not be Ukanyama permits abantu, ukukumana a politician, mureshka ve shimochile, ukukabala, marisho ukukabala, ukwenda ukaba president, kano feo kushiri miti, nishina abaya. Fimo fi ne mwa leshka kondem, efyo mureshka. Ala lesa kaya mikanda imwe. Elo lese fi aba, abo mwira mwantu, aka pera abantu amano, aya kunifuniyako. Bamunina ni sent to post a man who could take a chalo, no kuesha, cost of living, avantuale chula. Ichimwi mi nepo, itchabtila, mupeyama, commercial farmers in pia, bari miyama tava, ya irrigation, at ya kuesho wunga, chilekeni, techuesho wunga. Nama tueva te muni shortage, so to refire, to chte mitigate la shortage, you understand? But don't come and give us rhetoric that this is going to reduce the cost of uh, minimum that we are currently experiencing. And on a lighter note, we shall not have a vice president. Because UGA, United Nations General Assembly, that is the apex. That's the apex of the United Nations uh, 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 meeting. And usually, it's either the vice president or the president who goes to attend. But, but to my Minister of Foreign Affairs, our vice president, can you have an explanation as to why the vice president, the president opted to take he, to send the Minister of Foreign Affairs as opposed to the Vice President. Long live Zambia. Long live Zambia. Thank you very much.